Tonight on News 3, a fantastic finish for the Badgers who advance to the Elite Eight. The Sweet 16 tonight was just that for Bucky. Sweet, but Badger fans went on a bit of a wild ride to get there. Good evening, I'm Eric Franke. And I'm Michelle Lee. The Badger men fighting their way to a win against the North Carolina Tar Heels tonight. News 3's Jessica Arp starts our live team coverage tonight, live outside the Staples Center. Well, this place was just packed with Badger fans tonight. Obviously, folks from L.A. area, folks from back home, uh, Packers quarterback Aaron Rodgers, former Badger and Seahawks quarterback Russell Wilson was here. But obviously the atmosphere, I mean, it was it was pretty incredible in there. Cole Center West, you might say, taking Badger fans on quite a ride. I've lived in California for five years. Um, and since I've been in California, I saw the Badgers play last year at the Honda Center. Um, I've seen Green Bay pay, play in San Diego. And this was by far one of the most intense games that I've ever seen. I mean, I thought we were going to lose and we won, so it ended up being the best. <laughs> I knew we were going to make it the whole time. Sure got did. a little hairy at the end, but we pulled it out and I couldn't be happier. Oh, what a great ball game. It was amazing. Uh, down to the wire. Down the stretch, Zach Showalter, MVP. It was fantastic. Outstanding game. They came back and won. It was really exciting. <laughs> right? What did you yeah. think of it? Well, I was scared for a little bit, but I'm happy we won. You know what? I'm humbled because I, at five minutes, was about to sell my tickets for Saturday, really? thinking that I would not be at the game. And now what? And now I could not be more pumped to be at the game Saturday. Did you get nervous, though? Uh, I was a little nervous. He doesn't nervous. have any nails left. I don't know. Hopefully we'll win and we'll get to go to Final Four again. Last year I wasn't able to go Saturday because it was this one's 30th birthday. Thanks for calling And me. I chose her over the basketball game, so MVP right here. Best boyfriend ever. But we're back um, this year. We're back this year and looking forward to Saturday. It's so going to be gonna great. going to be back Saturday? Yeah, definitely. Is it going to be your 31st birthday? It is on Monday, yes, my 31st <laughs> birthday. But now I know how to plan my birthday parties so that they're around the Badger game schedule. Right. She's, she's learned that you don't do it on the weekend of the NCAA no. tournament. Yeah. Good lesson to learn. Now, obviously, many of these fans, they're going to be back here on Saturday once again for the Elite Eight. Obviously, the atmosphere will probably be even more tense than it was today and the big names in the scoring tonight. But someone kind of stole the show, right? Yeah, remember, it was 53-46 North Carolina. It didn't look good, as the fans just said. But, you know, the big guys, Decker, 23 points, 10 rebounds. Kaminsky, 19 points, 8 rebounds. Hayes, 12.6 rebounds. But Zach Showalter. The aforementioned MVP was something. He sparked the Badgers rally, and after the game, we talked with Zach Showalter and Trayvon Jackson. When I caught the ball before my first basket, I heard Trey yell at me, be aggressive. He didn't look at me, but then he scored, and then he and I told him, I was like, way to go, boy. He was like, I heard you. Hearing things like that when Trey's there, and then just having Trey around is always good for our team because he's such a leader vocally, so that helps me a lot. That's how you got to be. I just tell them guys in practice, we just have to be aggressive and add to the team. You know, so. So Showalter has six points tonight, but six huge points as Wisconsin wins at 79-72. They survive and advance to the Elite Eight. They'll play here Saturday afternoon or evening, depending on when the uh, start time is set. A little later coming up in sports, I'll talk with Bo Ryan about the Badgers' big comeback win. But for now, let's go back to Madison and Michelle and Eric. Yeah, they still got basketball going into that arena behind <laughs> yeah. them. Uh, Xavier and Arizona. Jay, thank you. We'll check back in shortly.